Pro Monster 73 here and I am going to do a reflex track review on Sugar Camp MX by Hyperbore. I believe this is his first track he's put out with splines in it as far as I know. I'm not too sure but he messaged me and told me that the uh, track's up and uh, see what I think about it. I've already ran a couple laps before with DS19 and uh, I think it's a great track. There's a lot of stuff in depth with it and for first track really. Uh, I can't believe what it's what it's come out to be actually. Like it is really cool and if for some reason if this track I don't know why it's not on the actual Lucas Oil series, like this track's jumps are pretty pretty good. Like they kick you up really high and give a nice boosting over the top of the jumps and I would love to see pro riders on this track. Like it would <laughs> it would be a sweet race to watch if it's accurate to how it is here. And I'm assuming so because this is a track by his house. This isn't one of his local tracks, so I would love to see this track. And for landscaping to be like it is in real life, then there should be no problem fitting people here. So right off the start, you can see pretty great, uh, pretty great jump references and elevation changes, and it's going to get it gets it gets going pretty well. Ruts are nicely dug in here. All these jumps, so you have to be careful with them. You could over jump some of these things and go flying and not end in a well side. Like this one, I think, I'd probably gonna. OG. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt. Ugh. Oh, for some reason, no problems there. But I've gone down. I've gone down several times right there. Made a big mess of myself. But I mean, just look at this track. I don't know. Everybody's gotta agree. This track will be amazing to watch the pros on if it's scaled right. Which I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying no. But I can give him the benefit, benefit of the doubt. The sand section, oh my god, the sand section is pristine. It hooks up well, it's nice and sandy, it looks looks great on the game. I heard you can launch, oh, I didn't hit it right, but I heard you can launch into this first roller right there. If you get it right. Nice long, and the track, man, the track is wide. Wide, really wide, and that makes for great reflex racing because you have to worry about people taking you out. Or you don't have to worry about the heck lag. Sick little boosty right here, a little hip jump. And I messed it up, of course, because that's how I do. There's one problem right that we have, and I'll show you next half, is the finish line jump, the splining on it. It's kind of in a bad spot. If you don't, if you try to cut that inside to get a faster lap, you will actually miss the spline, and it won't count your track. It won't count your lap, I should say. So now we're going to get an actual timed lap here. We'll see how I can do on this. There's inside, outside, I like hitting the outside. As long as you're careful enough to not over jump this, you can make this easily. Nice little triple into a small dragon back into the turn. This is like a tabletop with a single at the end of it. And you got a nice little right handed hip jump into a double and then like a step up double, maybe. Step or step up tabletop. This is a one of those problem areas if you jump too far you'll land at the bottom of this and you'll go down. I like the I like the roughness of it though. It's it's got a great dragon's back on the backside. I actually hit that really well, surprisingly, since I'm a terrible reflex rider. I will I will get lucky and pull a whole shot, but that's about it. Sand sand is great. I mean it doesn't it doesn't ride too much like sand. But the actual look of it and how it actually hooks you and grabs you pretty well, I think it's pretty good. You do go pretty fast for being a sand section. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to hit this line, I'm just gonna try to hit a good lap. Get a nice hip there and you can kind of triple into this sometimes. Yep, triple and double and double the rest of the way out. I kept keep going back and forth and do a good lap. Get hard on the brakes here because you ruts. You don't want to overjump this because there's ruts here. Into this hip jump. Let's see if I actually get it right. Good job, me. I actually want to keep this lap time, so I don't want to cut that. But yeah, as you saw right there, that it gets you well before the finish line. Um, so be careful in that finish line section. Don't go too far right. You'll miss a spline. Your lap won't count. That's all I really have to say about that. Track is great. I love it. <laughs> if they could run a national here, it would be amazing to watch, I think. I mean, they're already, it's in Wisconsin, so 
you know, you're already in Millville. Maybe, you know, next week take it easy on the riders. Just go a little bit down the street. Not really down the street, but you know what I'm saying. People live in Wisconsin, Minnesota. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, hit me up if you guys ever want to race the track. It's going to be a fun track to race. I can only feel it. Later.